Hey there! If you've got a solar system with a PV inverter, you might have seen it shutting down with grid overvoltage or over frequency errors, especially when the sun's blazing. Today, let's break down why this happens and what you can do about it. First up, grid overvoltage. This typically happens when there's a high amount of power generation, like on sunny days and low power consumption. The imbalance can cause the voltage in the grid to rise. In many regions, the upper limit for grid voltage is around 252 VAC. If the voltage exceeds this threshold, your inverter will shut down to protect itself and the grid. Now, if you live close to a step-down transformer, you might see these spikes more often. The transformer's regulation isn't always smooth, and it might not keep up with rapid changes in power generation and consumption. Next, grid over frequency. This happens when there's more power being generated than consumed, causing the grid's frequency to increase. It's less common, but can still occur, especially in isolated grids or during unusual conditions. Typically, the grid frequency should stay close to 50 Hz or 60 Hz, depending on where you are. Deviations beyond the acceptable range can cause inverters to shut down. So, what can you do to mitigate these issues? First, grid infrastructure improvements. Upgrading infrastructure like transformers and substations can help handle higher power inflows. This helps maintain stable voltage and frequency levels. Second, dynamic inverter settings. Some inverters allow for dynamic adjustment of voltage and frequency settings. Check your inverter's settings to ensure they're optimized for your local grid conditions. Third, energy storage. Adding battery storage to your PV system can help buffer excess power generation, reducing strain on the grid. This can prevent overvoltage and overfrequency conditions. Fourth, grid support functions. Many modern inverters have grid support functions like volt var control and frequency watt control. These help stabilize the grid by adjusting power output based on real time conditions. Lastly, communication with utility. Work with your local utility to manage and mitigate these issues. They might have programs or incentives to help stabilize the grid during high generation periods. Now, specifically for solar inverters, here are a few tips. One, firmware updates. Ensure your inverter firmware is up to date. Manufacturers often release updates to improve grid compatibility. Two, advanced settings. Consult the solar inverter manual or contact their support to adjust settings that can help mitigate these errors. Three, Monitoring. Use the inverter's monitoring tools to track when and why these errors are happening. This data can be valuable when discussing solutions with your installer or utility provider. Understanding these issues and implementing the right strategies can reduce the frequency of these errors and improve your PV system's performance and reliability. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. It helps us know you're enjoying our content. Thanks for watching.